Hey folks, welcome to Hartsell, Alabama, right here at Eddie Pruitt Ford, where everyone knows Price sells cars. But we also know that Price sells parts and service. Springtime is a great time to make sure that your car is in top working order, and we're going to save you more money at Eddie Pruitt Ford than you can get anywhere in the service department. Or come for tires, we've got major brands on sale, great discounts, the best prices you'll find in North Alabama. Great tire sale, great service prices. Eddie Pruitt Ford, you come see us today. What you can see is a different variety of southern traditional foods. You have your gravy, your blackout beans, your cornbread, your macaroni and cheese, uh, different spices, different flavors. Uh, you know, Alabama has its own unique taste when it comes to soul food. I love my lady's food. It's very good. I'm here on lunch break at Mini Lee's, Priceville, Alabama. <laughs> I've been going to Mini Lee's for about 25 or 30 years. You got the best soul food in town. I'm Brandy. I'm from the Decatur area. I work here in Prosville, and I have been hearing a lot of good things about Mini Lee's for a while from different people, my aunts and relatives and co-workers, and this is my first time. <laughs> The Lynette Brown Show. This this be the Lynette Brown Show. She's always ready in no time. The Lynette Brown Show. When you got something that's on your mind. The Lynette Brown Show. Whatever you got going on, she knows the deal. The Lynette Brown Show. Well, we always keep it real. To the LBS, the hottest, the biggest, the bad talk show of the South. Whew, I am the Fire Diva, keep their waves hot on your favorite station. Thank you guys for tuning in with me once again. Got a nice show lined up for you, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, you won't see much of the Diva today. I know, boo hoo. Okay, but uh, I'm gonna take you somewhere I'm sure many of you have never been, and that is to Colony, Alabama. I was actually invited over the weekend. And uh, I said, okay, I've never been to Colony, so uh, my co-host, which you guys know very, very well, if you are a loyal viewer of this show, yeah, we got Real Drill, and he's actually co-hosting this particular show today, so you won't see very much of the diva, but you sure won't see the diva until I take this commercial break. We'll be back right this time. <laughs> and see what you need. If we don't have it, we will get it. Duffy's Beauty Supply is what you need. Take care of your hair and buy it. Hi, I'm Netta Hall. I'm your stylist slash instructor at Salon Serenity. We're located at 809 Shoney Drive in your solar salon studios. Please come by and see me if you have any kind of hair problems or you have questions. Please give me a call at 256-797-5041. Five, I would love to be your hair doctor. Please come on by Salon Serenity. Okay, greetings, Miss Evelyn Howard. Uh, thank you for allowing us to come in the library and to look around and to see some of the history that you guys have here in Colony, Alabama. Um, I guess my first question is, I remember you saying over the phone you had moved back. You've been gone 50 years. Uh, that's a long time. Uh, what can you tell us about Colony when you were young? What, 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 what was Colony like when you were young? When I was a kid, it was 
basically rural. Uh, it's still rural, uh -huh. but uh, they, you know, they were doing the job. Everybody farm and share crops to make a living. Okay. okay. And there was no jobs open for blacks. I only did coal mining and I think saw milling. Wow. And they, up on these mountains going around here. And some people mine there, some people mine in other counties and stuff from the fathers okay. and grandfathers. So that's how we live by farming. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we didn't make very much money doing that either, but <laughs> right, 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 right. I can imagine. I can imagine. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so outside of colony, was there any other uh, interaction with any other African Americans? Yes, we interacted with people from Blount County. Okay, it's called Hayden Mountain Spring, Mountain Brooks. Uh, yeah, a few black communities. Then we intermingled with the people from Jefferson County. That would be Warrior. Okay. Uh, Trafford, Bradford, Morris, Kimberly, and then in Walker County, that's a kid that I, that, as I can remember, we used to, that was a mining town in Empire, Alabama, okay. run by the Bart, the Bart Laban Coal Company, okay. and we were intermingled with the people in Empire and Sipsy. Okay. Now that's okay. all I can remember as a child right. growing right. up, the people that we mingled with. Right. And right. we would go to church, we'd go to church, go to each other's churches and stuff. When doing the kids, like, people still driving mules and wagons to wow. church. Okay. There was very few automobiles in the county during that time. Right. And so people still came to church in the, in the music and the and that's walked. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. I, I was, uh, I've heard about Colony, uh, mm -hmm. like I said, uh, years ago, but I never uh, took the opportunity to come here until today. So this is my first time coming here, and I wanted to bring some friends along who were like-minded as myself, who were into history and things of that nature. What can you tell us about the founders of Colony? Who, it was uh, two brothers who started Colony. Mm -hmm. It was uh, after slaves were released from slavery, they settled here. They, this is the part they designated for the blacks to come to. Oh, so they actually designated this area this for blacks. the only black community in Colony County. Right, okay, 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 okay. I saw where it was incorporated in, eight, in 1981, finally. Yes, I <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right, because she had told me she had left for 50 years. So. In that time, she wasn't here when it got incorporated. Uh, so what other things can you tell us about Colony that, uh, because see, when I speak with other African Americans, my age or some older, they've never heard of Colony. Mm -hmm. A lot of people didn't, you know, but when I was in Detroit, they said, where are you from, Evelyn? I said, from Coleman County. Oh, no, you're not from Coleman County, because they got a sign up there that says, <laughs> don't be caught up here out the dark, right, and, right. you know, run so and so run, right, and right. Uh, you can't be from, I said, yes, this is a little black county, a little black community down there, you know. Right, that, that right. We didn't know that blacks lived in the county, you know, they lived in Coleman County. Yeah. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so, so, I guess today, which is a Saturday, you said there's a birthday going on for a lady. Uh -huh, Okay, okay. Hey, what's her name? Miss Helen. Miss? Miss Mrs. Helen Johnston. Mrs. Helen Johnston, we want to say happy birthday to you from the LBS, and uh, we hope to see some of you other beautiful people here in Colony soon. Uh, so I guess uh, another question I would have is how long is this is this is the only library in only in, Colony? In the Colony. Okay, it's, okay. It's one in uh, Garden City, one in Hansville. We are from the Hansville. Our town is Hansville, but we just, they opened, they made it a township. And they okay, the and named it Colony. We're still in, the, our zip code is still Hansville. Okay, okay. Now, I saw a park out here. It was Vivian named after a lady named Vivian. Vivian B. Allen. Who, who, who was Vivian that was Allen? my sister. Okay, okay. She was a Head Start teacher here. Okay. So she passed down. And they had a the little school, they had a six room school. Okay. And First through twelfth grade, wow. and she was one of the Head Start teachers there. Okay. And then okay. after they integrated, she moved to Hansville. Okay. Okay. Well, me being from Huntsville, like I said, I've been up and down sixty-five for a long time because my daughter lives in Tuscaloosa. Uh, how often do you guys or do you guys ever come up to Huntsville? I haven't been there since I've been here. Okay. I've been here. I've been back home two years, two and a half years. Okay. But uh, now people just go. 
it's just like living in the city almost. I don't see too much different, just the houses are not close together because people right. get up and go anywhere they want to go nowadays. They have transportation, they have jobs. Mm -hmm. And if they want to go to Atlanta for a game, just get them to go to a game. Right. If they want to go to a concert in Atlanta or Nashville or Birmingham, because right. Birmingham is only 40 miles south of here. Okay. And uh, they just get up and go. Just like we do in the city, we just go to the suburbs to things. Right. That's what they do here, just like you know, they, they they have access to everything around now. You know? Okay, okay. They have access, you know, they, like city people get up and go to different towns. They do the same thing. Okay. They want to go to a concert or go to Georgia or go to Florida or they get in the cars and drive. Okay. We go see a, a major league game, they get in the cars and drive. Okay. Get on a plane and fly. Okay. And I also wanted to say happy birthday to Miss Johnson. Today is her birthday. If you remember earlier in the show where I gave a shout out to Miss Johnson, before I met her, uh, you notice the money she has right here. You know how the women do, they put the money on their shirt, you know, brothers give them the money, everybody give them their birthday money. So Miss Johnson, we understand y'all are having a party next door for your birthday. Are we allowed to come party with y'all today? Yes. Yes, she said yes on camera, live. We gonna show, we gonna turn up Hey, Hello, Colin. and this is the Fiery Diva, if you guys already know. I know you guys didn't know that I had another baby. Yeah, I've kept him in hiding for quite some time. But this is my baby, ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to meet. And yeah, I had a secret love child in Calling, Alabama. Okay, <laughs> But uh, we're going to go into a quick, quick commercial break. We'll be back right after this. He's ready to eat. That's why he's forming around. Okay, we'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Reynolds Funeral Home announces with deepest sympathy the passing of Mr. Ross Bo Edwards Mangrum, 61 of Inglewood, Maryland, and formerly of Decatur, Alabama. Mr. Mangrum died August 11, 2014 at Gilchrist Hospice Center in Towson, Maryland. Welcome to Bad News Barbecue. You need to come down here. The ribs are succulent and tasty and juicy. The pork is off the chain. The turkey is spicy. You will love it. We'll see you soon. I'm Priscilla Kelly and I'm the manager here at Bad News Barbecue. Not only do we have great food, but we also help different organizations with their fundraising events. We also do catering for different family reunions and also business organizations. So please come on out and let us help you with your church, your school, our local nonprofit organization, and we'll also cater your family. What do we have going on here? I just got through cutting up some ribs that I prepared for my customers. I uh, marinated them overnight and smoked them for about four and a half to five hours. Well, Chris, now you do uh, fundraisers as well, right? Uh, yes, ma'am. We have a little program that we use to, that will guarantee the help. Uh, whatever your organization is to earn money for you and we, we also make money doing so and it's a cost share program But it don't cost you cost the organization anything to do. Okay. You work with churches schools uh, Yes, ma'am. We've done a couple of churches and a, we have done a couple of events for, for some schools And we're going to reach out to more people because it's a it's a very simple program and it can help you earn money Okay, and uh, tell us where you can be reached. I can be reached by, uh, 256 653 6893. And I'm located off of Oakwood Avenue on Gray Street, 1217 is the address. Hmm. It really doesn't get any better than that, ladies and gentlemen. We're at Bad News Barbecue. We're actually the sauce is not needed. They're cooked to perfection. Enjoy them a lot. You should come down and see them at 1217 Gray Street off of Oakwood Avenue.
uh, different spices, different flavors. Uh, you know, Alabama has its own unique taste when it comes to soul food. Uh, I love it. Uh, it's good. It's very good. I'm here on lunch break at Mini Lee's, Priceville, Alabama. I've been going to Mini Lee's for about 25 or 30 years. You got the best soul food in town. I'm Brandy. I'm from the Decatur area. I work here in Priceville, and I have been hearing a lot of good things about Mini Lee's for a while from different people, my aunts and relatives and co-workers, and this is my first time. This portion of the show is brought to you in part by Melon Head Fabrications. We specialize in all of your welding and fabrication needs. We build race cars, we build grills, anything dealing with metal, we can build it for you. Give us a call, 256-585-1756. Again, that number is 256-585-1756. That's Melon Head Fabrications, located at 2908 Pike Avenue, Huntsville, Alabama, right off of Sparkman Drive. Give Derek Jamar a call, 256-585-1756 or 256-682-4512. Melon Head Fabrications, where we're making all of your dreams come true. Hello. I'm Omar. My name is Shandell and we're from Colony, Alabama, and we're watching the Lynette Brown Show. The All Lynette right. Brown Show. This this be the Lynette Brown Show. She's always ready and no time. The Lynette Brown Show. When you got something that's on your mind. The Lynette Brown Show. Whatever you got going on, she knows the deal. Well, we always keep it demanded. Mm -hmm. And at that particular time, this dates me of course, but at that particular time Cassius Clay, who of course became Muhammad mm -hmm. Ali, was the fighter and every Saturday he had these fights, you know, White right. World of Sports, and Mr. Brown would always talk about it on Mondays. He would say, when Cassius Clay got in that ring and he got ready to knock him out, do you think he was sitting there wondering, what should I do? He knew, you know. And um, he taught, he, you know, a lot of lessons. Excellent teachers, excellent teachers. But I was a part of that last group that was still at Colony, because when we left, it was you had to go. And um, of course, I, I welcome going. It's unknown. I welcome going, but I was a part of that last group that had to go. That could no longer stay there. But you know, it was like us. We were challenged by um, Clara Ward Davis uh, at. Uh, our school went at, right at the beginning of integration, mm -hmm. desegregation, and she wanted us little black children to be prepared. Yes. When we were going into school with these white kids, yeah. she didn't want us to lack in any shape, form, or fashion. Yeah. And uh, like you all, exactly. Uh, she challenged us and demanded the best. Mm -hmm. I remember I brought I brought the wrong type of lined paper okay. to school okay. one day. This okay. was 1964 okay. as well. Okay. okay. And. My work was correct, but it was on the wrong kind of paper. <laughs> she, 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 she wouldn't accept that. Yeah. Yeah. She wanted, you know, follow my instructions. Well, you know, looking, do that. looking back, I'm sure that was his intent as well. Mm -hmm. But he, he never said that. He, I want you to be the best. I want you. And I promise you, with his, that lesson that he taught me, mm -hmm. I, you don't even have to worry about it. I yeah. promise you. I. Don't go into anything without knowing a little bit about what's going on, at least to be able to discuss it and to know when to ask the question. Yeah. Uh, I was so fascinated with the fact that he had been a high school teacher and he was talking and he was introducing fractions to us. And I was just, I was just, you know, I was just enamored with him. And so one day, <laughs> Jerome couldn't catch on to what he was talking about. He goes, oh, Cynthia knows. Come up here and show him. And I thought, you don't mean me. You know, <laughs> surely you don't mean me. And so he, I got up to the board and he said, just show him how to do it. And I, I stood there and he, I, when I turned and looked at him, he said, are you telling me that I have sat here all these weeks and we've talked about this and you don't know? 
what to do. He said, we're going to start from there. Okay, one, I disappointed him, and two, I disappointed myself because I'd forgotten the reason I was there. So it served me well years later. As you can tell, I'm not 12 anymore, or uh, 9, whatever that age was. But it served me well because it taught me whatever you go into, know something about it. Yes, know enough about it to talk about it. Yes, and at least to look and sound like you're prepared. Yes, and so with that, he, he taught me a life lesson, but it was one of the best years of my life. Just, you know, being mm -hmm. in his in his presence. And yes. haven't seen him in many, many years since, but he's so alive. Yes, I understand. Hey, that. ladies and gentlemen, it is the diva. I am still in Colony, Alabama, and I am standing here. Well, actually, I would be inside the house of the slaves that actually started and founded Colony. Okay, slaves started this little small town in Coleman County. I know you guys have heard a lot about Coleman County, but this town is right outside of Coleman County county and this right here is the chimney it still sits here to this day okay isn't that amazing ladies and gentlemen but uh we are going to uh, go into a break and we have more of colony coming up right after this. hi i'm netta hall i'm your stylist slash instructor at salon serenity we're located at 809 shoney drive in your solar salon studios please come by and see me if you have any kind of hair problems or you have questions please give me a call at 256-797-5041 i would love to be your hair doctor please come on by salon serenity welcome back to the lps the lavette brown show this is your homie real real and i'm with my new friend shandell yes. shandell we're here in colony alabama uh, for those who have been keeping up with this show here we uh, just decided to come out today, uh, just on the whim. Uh, I invited a couple friends. We loaded up the pacer, like like Cole does on Mark, yeah. and we struck out. All right. We struck out. So, uh, so uh, it's a beautiful place out here, man. Y'all haven't been, have met some wonderful people. A very uh, uh, humble, humble experience. Uh, living where they are compared to where we live is is humbling, uh, but at the same time. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. And so I was uh, met this beautiful young lady right here, Miss Shandell. She was telling me she was born here in Colony. And, 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 and just give us your experience in Colony. How was it for you uh, up until whatever, how old you was until you were born? Okay, well, um, I was born um, here in Coleman County, in Colony, Alabama. Um, it's, everywhere you look, it's family. Um, if everybody's not technically family, it's like somebody's buried into everybody's family. But it's a good, a good place to uh, raise your kids. And I've been here. I've lived here from when I was born to when I was eight. And then, um, you know, my father he um, was in the military. But growing up, you know, you learn a lot of family values, uh, the importance of family, and went to church a lot. So, uh, you know, my grandmother took us to church. So just down home family values. And, just uh, staying close to each other. That's what's up. That's what's up. You know, for those who, who, who know my story a little bit and where I'm from, I'm from a community called Casa Court, which is no longer where I uh, got done away with, but we have a special bond amongst each other. And I kind of feel that here, like this part of where we at, we know everybody in the room <laughs> knows everybody exactly, in their room. Yes. And y'all have treated us for the good short hours. We're cousins. You know <laughs> like, well, I'm glad you feel that way. Yeah, That's how yeah. we make people feel, and we definitely try to have the southern charm and give everybody that down home southern feel because we're all family. So you know, we're all got children that we're here to spread. Hey, and I want to send a shout out to whoever made them baked beans. <laughs> I judge you on your baked beans. That is the first thing I eat whenever I go to a barbecue. I can put the chicken, the ribs, the hot dogs, hamburgers, coleslaw, baked beans. The first thing I'm tasting is them baked beans. If they out of whack, the rest of the barbecue out of whack. And somebody put both eight feet in there. Yes. So shout out to who did that. And that banana pudding. Uh, we didn't get banana bread. Oh, that's why I was gone. Good. I got you next yeah. time. Yeah. Okay. Well, we definitely will be down here next time. So, okay. so, so you live in Atlanta now, right? Yes, I stay in Atlanta now. Okay. Yes, uh, I'm a veteran. I'm a postal worker. Okay. 
Jimmy Smith Jewelers in Decatur has offered fine and distinctive jewelry to the Tennessee Valley. Jimmy Smith has a unique selection of fine jewelry in all categories. Full appraisal services are available and they're members of the American Gem Society Laboratory. Diamonds. Jimmy Smith Jewelers knows diamonds. With diamonds imported directly from cutters in Antwerp, Belgium. Jimmy Smith Jewelers. Brilliant quality, brilliant selection, and brilliant service. Southland Plaza, Decatur. We are still here in and calling Alabama, ladies and gentlemen, we have had a wonderful time today. And uh, I have met new family members, okay? I met Aunt Faye and also Chester Lee. And today is their 67, 62nd wedding anniversary. How in the world do you do that? There are so many people that can't marry, you know, stay married 62 minutes, let alone 62 years. Well, it takes the Lord to keep you together. Without God, you could do nothing. And God is love, and as we love one another. Praise and that's what takes us on. Now you have a church. Right. First Pentecost Church, Highway 91 West. You've been the pastor for 35 years, the top of September. So have you guys lived in Colling the colony all this? we here all our lives. Mm -hmm. Born in Coleman County. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And 62 years of unity. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, this is absolutely beautiful. I aspire to be like you guys. I really do. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go into a quick, quick commercial break. When we come back, we've got more in the colony in Coleman County. Duffy's Beauty Supply. We need you to stop by Duffy's Beauty Supply and see what you need. If we don't have it, we will get it. Duffy's Beauty Supply is what you need. Take care of your hair and Out of time, out of time, ladies and gentlemen. However, I do appreciate yours. Thank you so much for tuning in to the LBS, the hottest, the biggest, the baddest talk show of the South. I know that was so interesting, right? And if you've got some interesting places or interesting stories you think the diva would like to cover, Okay, holla at your girl, okay? 256-566-5854. Again, that number is 256-566-5854. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have a $40 Logan's Roadhouse for you, okay? 256-566-5854. Just tell me what you like about the LBS. Tell me what you want to see more of, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, again, we've got some Popeyes, got Popeyes two piece dinners, okay? 256-566-5854. I got to go, got to go, got to go right now, okay? But thank you so much for tuning in to the LBS, the hottest, the biggest, the best talk show 